Hey guys, it's Jordan from Lyft. This week's video, I'm going to teach you how to operate the narrow aisle reach. So this particular reach truck that I'm on is a Toyota reach truck. Um, we really like it here. The Toyotas are far more comfortable than a lot of the ones that uh, we've been on before. As an operator, it's really nice because you're not going to have that back strain as you do. Um, typically, reach trucks, you're forced to bend over at front and then the operator's turned around all the time trying to look backwards. As you can see, the visibility in the back is far greater than the visibility in the front. So this side stance allows the operator to comfortably sit here while just a simple neck turn to be able to look around and to navigate. So these are the controls for the narrow aisle reach. On this Toyota reach truck, we have the steering wheel here towards the bottom of your screen and the control handle there on the right. And again, this setup allows for the operator to have a side stance rather than a forward stance for less strain on the operator. So here we'll start with the control handle. This does everything except steer the lift truck. It allows you to go forwards, backwards, it raises, lowers, and extends the forks. It allows you to apply tilt and side shift and also brakes. So for an example, if we wanted to drive this forward, we would just grab our control handle here as we step on the dead man pedal below, which I'll explain later. And we're just going to push this forward to go forward, pull back to go backwards or brake. We can operate the side shift buttons here on the directional pad, as well as the tilt functions. And one of the most important functions is to raise or lower your forks with this thumb control here. If the lift truck is equipped with lights, you can find those on this pad here as well as the emergency disconnect. We also have our display panel, which will tell you the battery level and the hour reading of the lift truck. So to move this reach truck, there's this control that we showed earlier that we're going to move forward and move back. And when you do that, it's called plugging to brake. So if I were to move this truck forward, all I do is just step on this pedal below me that activates the hydraulics, and I move forward slowly. To stop, I pull back. It also sends the truck into a reverse. So there is no brake per se on this lift truck, but when you're driving, you pull forward to go forward and you pull back just enough pressure to either stop the lift truck or it's send it into reverse. This particular lift truck, it's called a narrow aisle reach and I'm gonna show you the reach function. The reach function allows this truck to, as you can see, be very short, but allows you to reach out and grab your pallet and pick it up. So it reaches out, grabs it, and picks it up for you and brings it in. And that's the purpose of why they call it the reach. So I'll demonstrate that function. Underneath this joystick, you'll see two controls or two buttons. These buttons allow one to extend and then you're gonna retract. Now let's do a demonstration on how that full thing works. Our instructor Chris is gonna demonstrate this for us. He is already squared up to his load as you can see here. He raises his forks up to the appropriate height and drives forward to get closer. As his fork tips enter the load, he will use his reach function to extend the forks fully. When he extends, you can see that the load isn't completely against his backrest here. In order to do this, Chris is going to have to drive closer to get to the racking. The forks are now under load maximum, which means it's completely against his backrest. Now it's time to raise up the forks, Tilt back to secure the load, and now your focus is behind you. Don't look at the pallet, it is secure. Look back to make sure you won't hit anything or anybody. Once the pallet is about two to three feet away from the racking, lower down to about four to six inches off the ground or the base legs, which is the recommended travel height. As you can see here, the pallet is about four inches above the base legs. You are now safe to turn and to start driving away. Chris is now going to demonstrate one of our pivot point drills which we teach our students here at Lyft. We get them to complete figure eights around pylons or other objects. When you go for an interview, most evaluations will involve a similar test. The pivot point on the reach truck is at the mast or the start of the base leg as you can see here. As Chris passes the pylon, he's going to start turning once he hits that pivot point. Then he will hold his turn as he rounds the pylon and steer out of the turn and drive straight again. Every time that he passes that point on the truck, that lets Chris know that it's safe to start completing his turn. For new operators, this drill really helps them learn when to start turning and how to hold their turns rather than steering too quickly. Now we're going to show you the emergency stop drill. 
As I mentioned earlier, there is no foot brake per se, but this Deadman pedal will allow you to stop all hydraulic functions and movement as you lift your foot off of it. Try to watch how much the lift truck still moves after Chris lifts his foot. The reach truck will still roll a few feet before it stops, so for normal braking, always use that plugging method which we mentioned earlier, but definitely use this method of braking in emergency situations. So that's it for this week's video on the narrow aisle reach. Uh, please remember that you still require practical training on these lift trucks before you can operate and be certified on them. Um, stay tuned for next week as we have other videos coming out, and as always, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. So the narrow aisle of reach is one of the most popular lift trucks of all time. Of all time, I should probably say North America. <laughs> I like kind of what I said. This is this this part of it. I need a script. And we're gonna do a demonstration on how that works. So that's it for this week's video on our narrow aisle reach. Please remember that you still require practical training on any of these lift trucks that we're doing demonstrations on, as well as proper certification. Um, as always, try to subscribe to our channel. No, not try to subscribe. Did I say that? Yeah. Do you have any other? You have more information for us, go ahead. Yeah. So that's it for this week's video on the narrow aisle reach. Um, no. There's something missing between that, isn't there? Like, please subscribe for weekly videos, and it says thanks for watching.